Good evening. Uh, thank you to Congressman Jonathan Jackson for anchoring uh, this important uh, discussion on tonight's special order hour for the Congressional Black Caucus to you and to Representative Sheila Sherfilis McCormick for your tremendous leadership on all of our special order hours. I rise today with my colleagues of the Congressional Black Caucus to recognize the month of May as Mental Health Awareness Month. I want to thank Congresswoman Bonnie Watson Coleman for her tremendous leadership on this very important issue as well as each of our members for their work in addressing mental health, specifically in the black community. Today, it is estimated that one out of every five American adults experiences mental health illnesses each year. In the United States, 21% of black Americans reported having a mental illness. However, just 39% received mental health services. In recent years, the suicide rate among black youth has been found to be increasing faster than any other racial or ethnic group. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, suicide is now the third leading cause of death for black male adolescents and young adults in our country. And over the last 30 years, we have seen a 160% rise in the suicide rate for young black men. The statistics regarding mental health in the black community is alarming, yet it has received very little attention from this Congress. So it's time for us to address mental health and in fact, to focus on mental wellness, the same as in uh, any other health issue. It's time to remove the stigma that too often surrounds mental health especially for members of our community who are less likely to receive mental health care services to begin with. This means addressing the systemic economic barriers our community faces to mental health care services, the lack of culturally competent care, and the root causes of declining mental health, including racism and implicit biases in daily life. High poverty rates, disparate economic participation, and low access to quality psychological and psychiatric services. It also means addressing the lack of diversity in our healthcare system. Often, when black patients seek mental health services, they prefer a same race healthcare professional, which are vastly underrepresented in this space. As legislators, we have a responsibility to the communities that we serve to find solutions to long-standing disparities that negatively impact our communities and to ensure that no one gets left out or left behind. And we can see the research is clear and the crisis before us is urgent and there are solutions. My colleague, Representative Watson Coleman, discussed just two that are bipartisan and have the support of members on both sides. So I know that there are efforts to pass bills in days when the majority wants them to, and we're asking you to make mental health priority the priority, especially in this month. In order to redeem, uh, excuse me, to remedy these disparities, reverse these tr trends, and to save lives, we have to address them head on by providing access to better and more affordable health care, improving economic conditions in our communities and moving towards more culturally competent and evidence-based care. We have to take action now. Lives are on the line. It is possible, it can be done. Focusing this month on Mental Health Month, Mental Health and Wellness Month in a way that lifts up all communities and the services and the support that they need. Thank you, and I yield back.